Barbaric black metal hails from Finland. This time we go to United States with this band. Originally though from Portugal, later on relocated to United States. This is Sardonic Witchery, of which previous album from 2020 I got to review back in the days. This is Barbaric Evil Power. Let's check it out. Now the previous album from 2020 was released, uh, sorry, reviewed 2021. So always a few months delay with certain reviews. The same thing goes on here. This one was released late 2023 and now early 2024. I'm actually talking about it. Uh, the label has changed since the previous album. The style not so much. Basically in the very core of things this barbaric evil power release with kind of a goofy cover though. I mean it's like a AI created uh, cartoonish cover, not exactly looking that violent in that sense, despite the theme. Um, this one is Black Metal by King Demogorgon, who is taking care of pretty much everything here. Um, however, besides Black Metal, this sword-wielding individual has included quite a bit of trasher parts into the music that, not exactly alone, but uh, has also some strong uh, Celtic Frost, some people might want to say Celtic Frost, both are okay by the way according to dictionaries. A lot of these Tom G. Warrior vibes going on around here, even if the main uh, core of music is exactly fast tempo black metal. Uh, so when you're in like, okay let's go full blasting, let's add a little bit of trash in the mix, you're good to go. Does Sardonic Witcher really need to be explained beyond that? Well, this is something up for debate, uh, argued, can be both ways, but nonetheless, this fourth album by the band is exactly that. Very simplistic sometimes, like going to the very core of things with rather simple things. You really don't know uh, what else there is supposed to be, nor you really don't expect much else than just fast tempo or that. Now before we get into more details, uh, this band has been there for 10 years and as you can see from the Metal Archives listing here, four full albums and a lot of splits. Quite a bit of splits and some EPs, compilations, what have you uh, among the lines here. Anyway, uh, this uh, 8 track 39 minutes of an album is like I explained very simplistic in its very core. Uh, you have a lot of those faster parts which are every now and then paced nicely with a little bit more trashiness in the mix. But I don't know, this is kind of like avoiding to be something that you would call memorable or filled with hit songs and all that stuff. Now if you're thinking now bands like you know Marduk and the like with very fast and all that stuff, that is some, roughly a uh, kind of a signpost to which direction you're going. But because of the trashiness here, this is more like in a way uh, similar to bands like Absu. Then again Absu is way more technical, way more well, also occult in the themes and all. So this is not exactly that either. And now if you're thinking okay Black Trash maybe it's like Our Noir. Well Our Noir definitely is way more trashier. So this is like a a little bit between these different bands. Certain bands come to your mind when you're listening to this fast kind of a old school black metal and by old school I mean between the second and first wave. First wave with those Tom G Warrior cliches if you will. Second wave in the terms of songwriting, fast tempo and whatnot. I mean this ain't no really Bathory, Celtic Frost, what have you. So it's like um, combining elements of past decades really. But this is done with aggression, uh, fast tempo and straightforward approach. Now if this is something you really really love, there is no reason why to check out Southern Witchery and Barbaric Evil Power. However, if I was to compare this one to the previous one, I would say that was a little bit better overall. Maybe it was more like an all-rounder, where this is more focused on the faster parts and not much beyond that. Now, if you're looking for a more kind of a technical approach or atmospheric black metal or symphonic kind, this ain't no your thing. You are kind of a, I don't know, uh, gluing your taste to one style only and that is fast, fierce, blasting and beyond that not much is really happening. So it all depends where you're coming from. Uh, well, I can pretty much say that 
those elements I just described are the very core of the whole things and nothing gonna change it. Now, avoiding the actual hit songs and the memorable lines, maybe you need to kind of adjust your taste buds so that you are cool with the simplicity and all. But other than that, this ain't no badly done. This is actually pretty nice of an album, but I would say if something, what I can hope from the future Sardin Richery album would be, I would say more of those killer riffs, more variety with the songs, and yes, keep these old school elements in check. They are part of the charm here with the album and all. Now, as you might see uh, here, the information has changed. Uh, when I was talking about uh, late 2023, things, maybe my mind got messed up and all that stuff, but here it says it's actually January 15th. So whatever I said previously about the release date, forget all about it. Maybe I just confused something here. Uh, also what is worth noticing that this is a kind of a co-collaboration or whatever. I mean, you can see tapes on three different um, labels here and also CD on three, two, two different labels. This I got from Necro Goat Heresy Productions. So check out for your local availability when it comes to distribution and all that stuff uh, with the given album. And uh, if you like the physical format, go and order it. There is no excuse really. And of course, check out the music from the links provided for more information and whatnot. That's always, that's in the description box and should you want to comment this review or ask me questions related about this related to this album and all just let me know and i'll answer to you up, up, up to best of my qualities which are not much anyway off you go and uh enjoy some sardonic witchery see you soon with more reviews coming your way